Hey guys, how are you doing? Now this one right here is the new Garmin Phoenix 8 Sport Watch that comes with a super long battery life, lots of features and a very very sturdy design. But I guess without further ado, let's get right into it and let's start with the specs and the design. So the Garmin Phoenix 8 is available in three different sizes. There's a 43, this 47 and a 51mm version and all of them will cost the same at least for a few options. Some of them will come with a leather strap and there is even a titanium version, but let's stick to this one that I got right here. It's the 47 millimeter version with a silicon strap, which will cost you right around 1000 euros over here in Germany. And for that price, you will get a 1.4 inch Alma display protected by corner gorilla glass, Overall, it's a 47mm smartwatch with a stainless steel bezel and backside and a 22mm silicon strap with a quick release feature. It's probably the easiest quick release system I've ever seen on a sport watch so far. Now actually, we have another small difference to the other watch sizes and that's the strap. Now right here I have a 22mm strap, the 43mm version has a 20mm strap and the 51 has a super large 26mm strap. Now the Phoenix 8 is water resistant up to 10 ATM and weighs in about 60 grams without the strap and it's 80 grams with the silicon strap. You will also get your standard 5 buttons, now 3 on the left side and 2 on the right side. For navigating up and down, you can open up your system settings, you will get right to your notifications if you press the middle button, but you can turn this one off in the settings if you want to and after that it will just scroll up. What I also really like about the design is that you have little ticks all around the display for your analog watch faces, plus the display is a little bit lower than the bezel which you can feel if you rub over it with your finger. So it's not flush with the rest of the case. Next up we got a battery life and this one is great in my opinion. It's a little different from size to size, now the bigger watch have a better battery life, but let's stick to the 47mm Phoenix 8. Now this one will last for about 16 days on normal usage and a whopping 7 days with the always on display mode enabled. But if that's not enough for you, you still have a few battery saving options. You got the normal power saver, which will disable lots of your features like your music, it will disconnect your phone and turns off the heart rate and SPO2 tracker. Just to mention a few things, but therefore you can expect to get one extra day. But then again, you can edit your power saver and leave a few things turned on if that's too much for you. Then you also have the activity power modes for 22 to 81 hours of battery life, depending on the mode you're choosing. What I also always like to check out on these sport watches are the smart features. And you actually have quite a bit with the Phoenix 8 and let's start with the notifications. You of course get all of your WhatsApp messages, your emails and Instagram notifications. But if you're using an Android smartphone, you can actually reply to messages with a quick reply answer. Just keep in mind that this doesn't work if you are using an iPhone. And then again, you can add more quick replies and edit the ones that you have already. You have a weather app with a weather forecast for the next couple of hours and for the next four days. You also get some extra stats like you got the air quality, UV index, humidity and you have a heat map which I probably like the most about it. And you can also scroll around a little bit and check out other cities. And we're not finished right here. You also have different overlays so you can not only see the rainy clouds but you can also see the temperature, the wind and the cloud coverage. Next up the watch faces and since you have an AMOLED display with a 454 by 454 pixel resolution they look very good. You got 9 different watch faces by default and all of them are either digital or analog watch faces and all of them are customizable. So you can change the styles, you can change the accent color and the data color and some of the data on the display. It's not as customizable as other smartwatches but it's not that bad. Another pretty cool thing is that you can create photos with different apps. For example, you can have all of your health apps in one single folder or other things. Like this, you don't have to scroll all the way through your app list and have everything in one place. Then you can choose an icon for this folder and give it a name. So actually, pretty nice. So the Garmin Phoenix 8 has 32 gigs of internal storage, which is more than enough space for all kinds of extra apps that you can download from the Garmin Connect IQ store. Now over there you will find different watch faces, but also some music streaming apps like Deezer, you got Amazon Music or even Spotify. And if you have a Spotify premium account for example, you can download single tracks or whole playlists 
directly to your smartwatch and then you can listen to them offline during your workouts and you don't need your smartphone anymore. Another small feature is the focus mode. There's one for the sleep and one for your activities. For example, on the sleep one, you can schedule a time in which your watch face turns into the sleep mode. You can turn off your smart and health notifications for that time period or change your text size and display brightness. Now I guess I should also mention that you have a barometer, you got a compass of the timers, altimeter and a depth sensor for diving and you can change the voice of your watch. So there are all kinds of accents, dialects and languages and there's a male and a female speaker. Now as for the Garmin voice command, you can set timers with it, you can start activities, save locations, adjust the settings and a few more things. I guess looking for a sport mode is a little bit faster than using the voice assistant but starting a timer could be quite helpful. Now over to your health tracking and this watch tracks a lot. Starting from your all day heart rate tracker, this will give you a 7 day average and how it was over the last 4 hours. You have an SBU2 tracker that will either track only on demand, which is set by default, it will track over the night or you can let it track 24 7. You just have to know that this will drain a little bit more of your battery life. The Phoenix 8 will track your HRV status over the night which is pretty cool and you also have your 7 day average. There's a stress tracker, you got the Garmin body battery, respiration rate and of course the sleep and the naps. Like always you get a sleep score, the duration of your sleep, your 4 different sleep cycles and the sleep coach tells you how long you should sleep the next night based on some of your health stats so this watch tracks a whole lot. As for last, let's check out the fitness and the GPS tracking and let's start with the GPS accuracy and this watch right here is damn near perfect. I tried it a couple of times in different spots and was always very very accurate. The lines aren't that shaky and I don't see a lot of deviations. It's always on track and it gets all of the curves and turns with ease. For me it's up there with the top 3 GPS watches. So this watch has super mini sport modes like you got walking, running and cycling but also things like triathlon, obstacle running, ultra run, we got lots of swimming and gym workouts and of course diving and other team sports. So definitely more than you would need. Now this watch will also give you running suggestions with a set pace and time. In a training session you got the quick workout with some intervals, distance and time or distance and pace runs. You got access to your training calendar and you can even race against your past activity to see if you got any better. The Phoenix 8 has a back to the start feature in case you get lost in the woods. You got safe waypoints and you can also explore nearby cities, food spots and more. You can even choose a spot on the map or use the coordinates for a spot to go to. And guys, I guess there we have it. If you liked the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Now I will also leave the link to the watch down below in the description and I guess with that one being said I will see you in the next one. Peace.